but officially uh, we'll be on the water on the course Friday to Sunday. Official race days are Saturday and Sunday, so it's it's not so much open to like the public. Public uh, Friday night, we will have some, you know. Um, there'll be some, some kind of VIP passes and some of the sponsors and so there'll be, you know, staff and people involved, uh, some training going on on that Friday, but really Saturday and Sunday is when you want to like come and check it out. Right. Unless you're, you know, part of the event or really, really trying to just do like the three day package or something, which will definitely have different ticket options. But, uh, Saturday and Sunday, the 14th and 15th of May is, is when you're going to want to come check it out. Awesome. So book those rooms. I imagine if you called Moody Gardens right now and at least, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if they've got special, uh, rates set up yet, but, uh, you know, tell them, Hey, you want to come, come in for the, uh, for the, for the, the motor surf. Event, yeah. Right? So no, we definitely have special rates set up. Um, you know, the, the hotel's working with us for racers and staff and, you know, we've got a bunch of rooms blocked off, but yeah, there will be like a booking code for just regular people coming down that awesome. they want to just be a part of it and, uh, you know, lock their, their room in early. Of course we have to, you know, book so many nights, um, you know, within the, within the, the city, you know what I mean? And, sure. and try to bring in, you know, a crowd for this event. So, uh, yeah, definitely call Moody Gardens. We'll have the info pack and the official press release out tomorrow. So you'll have booking codes for Moody and a couple other different accommodations, uh, so definitely try to, like John said, you know, get this book now and, and plan ahead so you can uh, come check it out. And something tells me there's going to be, a, you know, a, kind of a build up and some some uh, events net down in Galveston, maybe at a local brewery. But, you know, we're working on all kinds of stuff. So there, there will be some pre parties yeah. and, and some, you know, not <laughs> pre post. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not, not necessarily parties, but, you know, some get together, some meet and greets, yeah. some uh yeah, and, and, and there'll be some really cool faces coming in. You know, some of these people have raced, and, you know, you know there can be some Olympic athletes here, you know, uh, six-time, seven-time jet ski or dirt bike champions or, you know, people, that sur- surfing champions, uh, freestyle jet ski guys. I mean, you're going to see guys that, you know, actually have followers at this event, you know, that have sure. act- actually done stuff in their sports careers, you know, a, a professional hockey player, you know, I mean, you know, so I, I'm just uh, one of the small guys, you know, I'm just a local racer here, but uh, some of these guys have really got some racing accolades and trophies to, to back it up. I mean, we're, you know, some of these people are, are, are champions, you know, so it's, it's awesome. And I, I can't wait for the, the people to get to, to meet some of those people. And, uh, you know, so, um, yeah, just get to know them and, and, you know, find out more about how they got involved in the sport and how they crossed over from hockey or, or motocross or surfing to this. And, you know, so it, it'll be fun. I'm, I think that the attendees are, are really going to get a good show. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, you know, and, and there's so many other reasons to go and visit Galveston Island. So, you know, let's, let's all make it happen on, on that, that weekend. Right. I mean, if you ever, if you haven't been to Galveston or you haven't been in a while, you know, and, uh, you know, you know, go ahead and just mark it on your calendar now. You're you're coming down to Galveston on the the fourteenth and fifteenth. Make a whole weekend of it. You know, Moody Gardens has all the attractions. Oh, Moody Gardens, you awesome. know, so there's so many things to do there. Like John said, there's so many restaurants and just so much fun stuff on the island. So you know, come in, check out the race, but also check out the island. That's our whole yeah. goal. Beaches. You don't have the, to be parked at the you know Moody watching the race for three days. You know, just come down, make that a part of your weekend. Um, and that's that's what you know us and Galveston's trying to do is uh, just get as many people down to the island that weekend to experience that and just also the new other new activities and water sports in galveston as well very exciting yeah yeah man it it is exciting you know um because yeah nothing has ever been done like this before here and uh you know i think that people don't till they really visualize it or see it in person or they they feel the energy and there's the mc and the announcer and the, the race officials and judges and there's cameramen and, you know, there's racers throwing their boards in and out of the water. It's, it really is like something you've never experienced, you know? Uh, so yeah, I, I mean, I, I've been lucky enough to experience it and I want other people to experience it as well. You know, that's awesome. Yeah. You, you've, uh, you've competed, you know, in many other places, many other countries, and now you're bringing it to your hometown. Man. Yeah. And that's, that's always been the goal, you know, uh, is, is, you know, when I started this business was, was bringing it here to Houston and Texas. Uh, and so, yeah, finally, finally making it happen. Yeah. Very cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I'm excited for, uh, for, you know, like to, we're going to, like, I, if I didn't say it earlier, yeah, we're, I will have my hands full, but we are going to do a show, obviously many shows prior, 
uh, to talk about this and promote it. And then um, we're definitely going to do a show that Wednesday, probably to promote race week. We'll have on a couple of our pr- professional athletes that are doing the training camps, you know, on the air. We might have, you know, Mark Gomez or, you know, Lucas Zahorski or something like that. You know, the, the world champions or champions in their regard come on, which is what we do. We love having professional athletes and stars come on air with us. Absolutely. To interview them. And then maybe Saturday – we might be able to do something, a special coverage thing where I pop on for a second and then maybe we have a couple of the racers pop on that we interview. and I, Or maybe, that you know, President of Moody or, you know, something very, very cool like that or the, maybe the Mayor of Galveston. Right. I, 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 hey, I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> maybe the Galveston County Judge. Yeah, we, uh, we might be the commissioner, you know. Uh, we're going to be trying to get the city involved as much as possible um along with the you know tourism committee and and sports you know and uh, tourism boards and there's so many different things that they the arms for marketing and and things that they promote down there but they're all excited if the mayor could hand out one of the trophies uh you know that'd be amazing that would you know, be cool uh, yeah we'd like to have some honored guests maybe some celebrity judges you know so we're yeah there's there's so many so many things that that can that can and and might happen so yeah so and, and the paperwork was signed yesterday paperwork, and we're announcing it today is signed yeah, <laughs> paperwork so. is signed it is signed <laughs> and you know by all accounts i mean like like i said i mean you know things are getting better as far as travel and covid and oh, everything yeah. so yeah. i i think uh I think it's looking good, man. Man, there's all these new airlines coming to Hobby. Uh, you know, Frontier just announced they're going to be going out of Hobby now, and uh, they just bought Spirit, and so their flights are going to double. And so I bet you, for the first time, a lot of people are actually going to be able to fly into, like, Hobby Airport for this race as opposed to before. Uh, so just, yeah, man, there's awesome. so much, so much growth and, and so much... Oh, my goodness. Like, by the time the race comes around, uh, you know, maybe the construction in Kima and, and over on the, the Southwest Freeway is done. I mean, just it's going to look beautiful. They, yeah. They've just really built up, you know, Texas City and League City and, and you know, uh, and, and Galveston recently. So, I, I, it's like you said, it, you know, COVID's, you know, coming to an end, hopefully, or, or back to a point where we, we can move forward. You know, it may never be over, but... I think that the islands, you know, had one of their best years last year, you know, right. respectively to, to, you know, they, the, the two years before that, but they, they were starting to do okay. I think they're on the up and up and they're expecting the best numbers ever this year. You awesome. Know? So, yeah. Well, I know, I know my family made a number of trips to Galveston last year, yeah. last two yeah. years, 2020 and 21. I mean, that was, that was the extent almost of our trips, you know, uh, because so, uh, you're outdoors. Yeah, you're you know, outdoors. You know, I mean, everybody was, you know, I mean, there's so much beautiful beach. I mean, it's really amazing what Galveston's done. You know, and I, I grew up here. I've lived here since I was th- three years old. And, um, you know, the, the, they, they've done such a good job with the beaches and bringing sand in. And, and also, you know, a couple years ago, there's been, there was a change and the water's really been nice. I mean, Man, you, know, it, you it's, have green it's, days now. It's, yeah, you it's really beautiful have... water, you know, which. When I was younger, that was not necessarily the case. I don't ever <laughs> remember seeing like green or bluish hinted water ever. It was always brown. But you know, now, and and you know, people they they talk a lot of you know about Galveston water. But I've been to beaches all over the yeah. country, and it's not all blue, guys. Right, like, right. There, there are pockets of blue water in California and Florida, and that's it. Like, yeah. you know, if you go up the East Coast or you go up the West Coast, certain areas, it's 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 not blue and green. I mean, you, you've you got to be in the right area. And so that's really, uh, if you're not in the Keys, you know, that's so misleading, you know. Uh, yeah, anywhere on the East Coast is brown water. But right. somehow everybody thinks, you know, icky Galveston water. I yeah. mean, that's what we, that's what you get. Almost everywhere, but like I said, few pockets of that yeah, em- that but, emerald coast. But yeah. I, I kind of feel like that's a thing of the past now, you know. So you know, the bottom line is, if right. you haven't been to Galveston yet, you're in for a treat. Oh and, yeah, and you're kind of spoiled because it hasn't always been as awesome as it is now. No, yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, it's, it's truly, it's it's come a long way. And what I always say is, I again been to a lot of different beaches, a lot of different beach towns. You know, the the tourism component, the fun, you know, there, there's just so many activities and things to do on the island, so many restaurants, and the, the length of the beaches. I can't tell you how many times I've been to a beach and I can see the other end of it. Or you, you drive down the main road for a few minutes and it's over. 
Oh, Galveston. I mean, you've got just beaches you can drive on and drive down for miles. You've got six, seven, eight different beach options. Right. You've got, I mean, I've never seen. So when people, you know, I have to re-educate them, like you said, on the water is nicer than you think. And it's really changed because there's so much beach for you to explore and enjoy that other cities can't offer true and uh i mean just literally i don't know how many miles of beach it is but it, it and again the fact you can drive on parts of it some parts you can't drive on i mean you get best of both worlds there's parks there's you know um yeah i, I like you said they're always improving the sand they're bringing in new sand uh so I'm I'm a huge advocate of Galveston. I love the history. Right. I love the fact that at one point it was one of the big, you know, top ten biggest cities in the country. Right. Yeah. You know, the New only... York, Miami, yeah. Galveston, uh, uh, San Francisco. Galveston, San Francisco. I mean, that's I mean, about yeah, it. Yeah. Top yeah. five. Yeah. You know, right. yeah I mean, yeah. Th- there was immigration. People. Were, People like your great, you know, your great grandma, you know, came to this country in Galveston. Yeah. You know, and that's that's just so fascinating. Going down the Strand buildings built in the 1800s awesome i mean it's incredible you just don't you don't get that new orleans that uh that that galveston that san fran i mean these are old port towns you right. know and so i just i'm i love it yeah. yeah yeah and the galveston real estate market right now is insanely hot victorian houses oh are my gosh. hot you right know, like well no, I mean now it's a you know the the you know it's a seller's market for everybody, but yeah, Galveston the the market's crazy right now. I mean, yeah. every you know people are, you know people are cashing in. They are <laughs> man. Know? People bought a house a couple years ago, and and all of a sudden their you know their their equity has doubled. Let's talk about this. Uh, let's talk about this beer real quick because obviously we like to drink on the show. We like to have a good time, uh, as y'all may know. And uh, what do we drink tonight, John? Yeah, so, so we're we're drinking some hazy o hazy IPA from Dogfish Head because we like it hazy. Yeah, we we kind of dig the hazies. We and, do. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We do like the hazies. Uh, you know, I always joke uh, that's the style uh, created by Instagram. You know, yeah, people yeah. used to enjoy taking pictures and you know of the of the glass that you couldn't see through. Which when I first got into beer brewing, you know, you'd always want to be able to see through your glass. But then the hazy IPA came along, and you know, and and, and of course, a lot of us traditional brewers weren't exactly as excited about it in the beginning. But uh, we've all we've all you know jumped on board the bandwagon. Matter of fact, I mean, my you know my previous. Uh, you know, radio show, the Galactic Coast Power Hour, we used to joke, oh, yeah, we used to joke about, you know, all these different breweries that would say they never would brew a hazy IPA, yep, and yep. one after another, eventually they're worn down, and they, they jumped on the bandwagon, because that's where the money is. I bet Dogfish Head was one of those, too. I'm yeah, surely they probably were. <laughs> you know, the, the one thing about Dogfish Head, and that's, you know, Dogfish Head is from, the, you know, the New England area, it's, it's one of the true pioneers in the craft beer scene, um, absolutely, yeah. You know, one of one of the best figureheads, uh, <laughs> Sam, and I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name because I butcher it every time, especially when I've been drinking Dogfish Head. But uh, <laughs> fair yeah, enough, Sam yeah. uh, K- Kologi, Kolo- you know, something like that. But uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's been one of the true cheerleaders for uh, craft beer for a long time. He had his own show on on one of the uh, one of the re- you know one of the networks uh, for a little while, but um, eventually Budweiser kind of put an end to it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think they've threatened to pull their spawn. I think it was Discovery Channel, but I'm not 100 percent sure which channel it was. But uh, <laughs> anyway, um, you know, but it, you know, but Dogfish Head's always been kind of into the experimental beer. I mean, actually, that was part of what their whole TV show was about back uh, probably about guys probably 10 years ago now. But um, yeah, so you know, we, we were trying some new things. Uh, I'll be honest, our, our go-to hazy, uh, Heavy Hands from yeah, here. We, in we like to keep it local. Yeah, Spittle absolutely. Tap, we're Spittle working tap, with some they local were, breweries here soon. We're excited to, yeah, man. Yeah, beat. they were they were sold out apparently, or you know, so uh, you know, we're suffering, you know, some supply chain issues. So, uh, you know, so we pivoted and we went with the Hazy O, and uh, you know, I'm not disappointed. Oh man, it's been excellent. Yeah. yeah so, uh, cheers, John. Yeah, man, this thing is actually oh, yeah, going down really boom, nice. It is. Yeah. yeah, actually, we're almost out. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 44 minutes in and we've killed it that's it man that's it you know uh but, no man dude it, it feels so good to be back on the yeah, air and, and back, overdue yeah overdue. Dude, uh just you know I'm, I'm so excited to to start bringing back some of the, the the events coming up not just my events obviously the other events and there's just so many activities you know we got texas crab fest and wheels and kills or kills and wheels i'm sorry yep. coming up and um you know so man just so many cool things literally right here in our backyard 
Uh, they're doing like small boat shows, you know. On yeah, the water yeah. There's, and, uh, I think uh, there's one at Remax. Maybe it was.